disturbing trend. Thieves targeting high-powered Teslas and other EV charging stations and stealing heavy cable for the copper metal inside. NBC Bay Area's Tom Jensen is in Vallejo tonight where someone cut cables from nine charging stations, leaving Tesla drivers in a bind and causing tens of thousands of dollars in damage and repair costs. It's easy to see what the thieves are after. These cables are heavy, and you can see by the cut ends, they are also dense with copper. And at $3 a pound through scrappers, from the cables cut here, the thieves likely got a couple hundred dollars for all of that metal. They knew something wasn't right. It most likely happened in the night, and uh, we found it early morning. Josh Beckler and his wife were two of the first people to find the cut cables early Mother's Day morning. Josh is also a retired Marine and former investigator for a major big box hardware chain who routinely investigated similar thefts where thieves targeted generators and other items for the copper wire. You know, they left five charging stations. I'm pretty sure after they racked up, I don't know what the quantity was, but almost 20 uh, cables with the nozzles. Those are extremely heavy. Um, so I'm, I'm imagining that's all that they could haul at one given time. <laughs> In all, nine of the Tesla supercharging station's cables behind the Vallejo Target store were cut over the weekend and reported to Vallejo PD early Sunday morning, leaving Tesla drivers in a bind. I think this is the second time or third he's been cut. So they need to put some gates up or something like that. I don't know what they need to do, but this is pretty inconvenient. Josh Beckler says, sadly, it's a sign of just how desperate many in the Bay Area are right now, willing to risk life and freedom for a couple hundred bucks in copper wire. And an Oakland Tesla driver who had to use the chargers in a pinch today agrees. I think it reinforces the desperate times that um, a lot of people are under and, you know, hopefully we can do something about it. Tesla energy workers had all of the stations back up and running by dinner time, but this isn't an isolated incident. There have been reports of EV cables stolen from charging stations across the U.S. recently. That last driver I talked to from Oakland said she usually charges her car at home, but beware the thieves are also targeting those home EV charging cables for just a couple of dollars worth of copper, and the cables themselves can cost almost $3,000 each to replace. In Vallejo, Tom Jensen, NBC Bay Area News.